I'm Joe Giglio for NJ Sports Now on this Tuesday, May the 5th. Yesterday, a big day, big news coming out of the New Jersey Devils. Lou Lamarillo, general manager since 1987, three Stanley Cups, all that success for the Devils franchise with him as the general manager. He is stepping down at the age of 72. Ray Shero coming over from Pittsburgh will be the new GM. Lamarillo is going to stay on as a team president, advisor role. But the days of Lou Lamarillo picking the players, making the major decisions, they are over for the New Jersey Devils franchise. A moment of transition here for the Devils. And really, when you think about the last year and a half or so, saying goodbye to Martin Brodeur, and now effectively saying goodbye to Lou Lamarillo for the first time in over two decades, really for the first time in about 25 years, the Devils lack an identity. Think about it. Since 1991, from 91 to about the end of 2013, leading into 2014, 2015, the Devils could be associated with two individuals that you knew were going to lead everyone else, and you knew as long as they had those two, they were going to be one of the more successful teams in all of the National Hockey League. Of course, it was Brodeur between the pipes, one of the great goalies in the history of the sport, records that may never be broken, a star among stars that led the Devils and was always the great equalizer or enough to put them over the top in so many playoff series and so many Stanley Cup finals. And then, of course, you had Lamarillo, the guy who put the team around Brodeur together on a year-in, year-out basis. And amazingly, I mean, we think now, and I think it's going to set in as the years go on, the fact that the New Jersey Devils competed at the level they did in the National Hockey League really has been unprecedented. I mean, this is a team in the shadow of the Rangers in New York, in New Jersey, where professional franchises rarely thrive. We don't, can't count the Giants and Jets. Those are New York football teams playing across the river. Look at the New Jersey Nets. Never could sustain it. The Devils, for the better part of two straight decades, were contenders year in, year out. Enough to get themselves an arena built in Newark, a beautiful arena with the Prudential Center. The Devils became a legitimate NF and NHL contender every single year. Something that teams in bigger markets, something that teams with more resources often can't say. Lamarillo was the guiding force behind that. His moves, his ability to read talent, his ability to pluck and play and put guys into the system on the devil's ice that would play well alongside and in front of Brodeur gave the Devils an identity. And when you thought about the team and every year you go into the offseason and you thought about what next year might look like, for the New Jersey Devils franchise. They never had the greatest players of all time. They didn't have the great players of the era. Scott Stevens, of course, was a very special player. But they had good players that fit the system and all worked together. And you knew each offseason they would lose a player or two. They would bring in a guy or two you maybe didn't really know too much about or bring in a veteran who you didn't know how much he had left. But you trusted Lamarillo. You trusted Brodeur between the pipes. And you trusted Lou Lamarillo to bring in the right mix to keep the Devils afloat. And now look, now think about the Devils moving forward and the two guys that you associated with this franchise more than anyone since they gave, came over from Colorado in the 80s were Lamarillo and Brodeur. And now they're both gone. And now what happens to the Devils? Now the Devils to me are just like any other franchise. They could sink, they could swing, swim, but the stability, that's gone. The stability, the confidence you would have in this team becoming a perennial contender, that has to be gone now because for the first time since 1987 when Lamarillo took power in the Devils front office and then 1991 when Brodeur debuted, since 91 to about a couple years ago, those two were in lockstep every single day in the organization. Now, for the first time in a couple decades, both are gone. And now the Devils almost, to me, have to start anew, have to start from scratch. We'll see what Ray Shiro could do. We'll see what some of the younger players are going to bring through this organization become. And, and now we'll write new chapters about the New Jersey Devils and where they're going. But it's amazing to wake up today and to say the Devils don't have an identity anymore. The Devils' identity for the past two decades has been Lamarillo, has been Brodeur. And that identity is now gone. Yes, he's still part of the organization. Yes, his you know, his mind and his opinions will still be there if Ray Shiro wants to lean on him. But for all intents and purposes, yesterday was the end of an era and an end of an era for the Devils that was one of the best in all of the NHL. What is the new identity of the Devils? We'll have to wait and see. We do know we closed the book. We closed the chapter on the last identity of the Devils. That would be Martin Brodeur. 
between the pipes and Lou Lamarillo upstairs making the decisions. I'm Joe Giglio for NJ Sports.